Interestingly, you too have also been reported under the new hate crime legislation. This is insane. Hamza Youssef thinks that anybody who dares criticise that 2020 anti-white speech of his must be far right, of course. And it actually, for many Scots who've reported you, goes back to a speech you made in 2020 where you went through a whole series of important senior public posts in Scotland which are held by white people. And you made a very powerful point about how white, 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 so many important positions in Scotland are. Isn't it a surprise that a country that's 96% white has a lot of white people in positions of power? I mean, seems like common sense to me. You said it's not good enough. Now... Scotland is 96% white, and there are some very active people, particularly on social media, who are saying Hamza Yusuf's message was essentially racist. It was anti-white. And I, for one, feel that this is stirring up hatred against me as a white person. The police aren't interested. They say it's nonsense. They're certainly not going to investigate it. it. No. But, but, under the new legislation, the police also have to, as I understand it, record it as a non-criminal hate incident and you will be named. How do you feel about that? So a couple of points to make. Uh, the description of those who, who reference that speech as hatred, I've not seen anybody who has described it in that way that isn't frankly part of the far right. Oh my gosh, I mean it's just insane, isn't it? How they will just brand anyone and everyone far right so that they can shut down debate and not bother to actually make a good argument against them. So he's typical politician swerved the question about isn't it ridiculous that you have to have a hate crime incident put to your name even if you were not found guilty by the police. He swerved that and just used that old label, the BBC lover as well, far right to try and shut down, shut it, shut down the debate. Now, just in case you're in any doubt about whether what he said was racist, let's play it back again. White, the Lord Justice Clark, white, every High Court judge, white, the Lord Advocate, white, the Solicitor General, white, the Chief Constable, white, every Deputy Chief Constable, white, every Assistant Chief Constable, white, the Head of the Law Society, white, the Head of the Faculty of Advocates, white, every Prison Governor, white, and not just Justice, the Chief Medical Officer, white, the Chief Nursing Officer, white, the Chief Veterinary Officer, white. The Chief Social Work Advisor, white. Almost every trade union in this country headed by people who are white. In the Scottish Government, every Director General is white. Every chair of every public body is white. Genuinely insane, right? That is clear as day racist. If you're not sure about that, just, just flip the colours around. Flip the colours around. If you take out the word white and put in another colour, you will see how racist it is. Can you imagine if I went to a country as a white person that is 96% black and I made a speech complaining that there are too many black people in positions of power? Can you imagine the backlash? Everyone would see that that is obviously racist, but apparently racism against white people is okay. It is crazy how we have normalized that this man needs to be removed from power the SNP they've had the time you campaigned for independence and you didn't get it and now you're ruining Scotland with this absolute garbage and the news just keeps getting crazier about Hamza Yusuf because take a look at what has come out in Guido this morning Hamza Yusuf's brother-in-law is arrested and charged with abduction and extortion. I mean, you literally cannot make this stuff up. It's like this this guy, Hamza Yusuf, he's the gift that keeps on giving with the news at the moment. Uh, not giving any, any good stuff, that is, though. Uh, so have a look at this. They say in-laws are God's way of letting you know hell on earth really exists. That seems to be the case for Hamza Yusuf this morning as his brother-in-law is arrested and charged with... And the police say a 36-year-old man has been arrested and charged with abduction and extortion following an incident where a man fell from a block of flats in Morgan Street, Dundee, on Wednesday, 10th of January. He died a week later in hospital. This is insane. Now, I'm sure because this is an ongoing case with the police, we may have to wait some time to hear the details. But I mean, can you imagine that his brother-in-law abducting people? 
honestly, uh, Hamza Yusuf and his family, I don't know what is going on with them, but some crazy stuff. But back to the point, Hamza Yusuf is clearly racist. That speech was clearly, clearly racist. I think it's absolutely insulting to the Scottish people. I think the new hate crime laws are also insulting to the Scottish people who now have to live in fear that they will be arrested for simply speaking their minds, probably saying quite reasonable things. It is a scary world we are living in, ladies and gentlemen. And on that abysmal note, I will leave it there. I will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.